Hey, hello, I am so happy to have you here with me today. I am Autumn Ashley, and this is going to be my Camp NaNoWriMo announcement. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am a writer doing all of the writerly things. And in April, we have a very, very exciting little camp, little writing event that I'm going to be participating in. The first one that I ever participated in was Camp NaNoWriMo July 2020. And I've kind of participated on and off throughout the years. I think I've always done writing vlogs throughout those months, but this month I am going to be setting hard goals and I am going to be working towards those goals. I am going to be working on my fantasy project called Project Ice. I just recently started drafting this project. Last week's video was an announcement video talking about my game plan for writing the first draft for that story. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave it linked down below because this video is going to be short and sweet, but it's also kind of goes hand in hand with that video. So I won't dive too much into the nitty gritty of what this project is and the game plan for the entire manuscript since I did talk about it all in that video. So there are going to be three main goals I am going to be focusing on in the month of April. The first one are going to be my word counts, hourly, weekly goals, and then another goal that is writing related, but it's also kind of a personal goal. NaNoWriMo uses word counts to track everything. I decided to do a high goal and a low goal. A high goal of 15,000 words and a low goal of 10,000 words. That seems very doable with my life. It seems very doable with everything that's going on. That just seems like a fair goal. And since I'm still in the early stages of drafting this story, like chapter two, less than 5,000 words in the project, I feel like having a high goal of 15,000 words is going to be something that is challenging, but because it's a new project, I'm excited about it. We're all in the feels of starting a new project. I feel like having that high goal of 15,000 words is something that is challenging, but something I can definitely strive towards. And then I do wanna have a lower goal of 10,000 words because that also seems very doable. Um, so of course, if I go anywhere within that 10 to 15,000 word range, that's also solid. So the next thing I want to talk about are hourly goals. And I want to set hourly goals because I'm not somebody that writes every single day. Taking that into consideration, when I do my writing sessions, I set a timer or an amount of time I want to work on a project in a week. Each week, I want to set aside three to five hours to dedicate to writing. I can choose to break it up each day. So three days a week, I write for an hour of each of those days, or I have a variety if I want to sit down for two days a week and write for two hours for each of those sessions. It's so much easier setting an hourly goal like that for each week and knowing that I can reach it, but I'm going to have to, to also work for it. An hourly goal and a word count goal for me just they go hand in hand. This last goal that I said is more of like a personal goal. It's still a writing goal, but of course it's it's also personal. In these months where we all get together and we do a whole bunch of writing as a community, I also feel like it takes away time from doing other things. I mean, of course, the more writing you're doing, the less of other things you're doing. But I've noticed when I do big chunky writing sessions like this, sometimes I feel like I burn out. So another goal that I've set for myself personally and for writing is finding balance. While I do want to push myself into writing a lot more, to finding more consistency with my writing and hitting those um, word count goals and the hourly goals every week, I also want to still find a balance with my writing and with the personal life slash work life. I don't want to do an overkill in the entire month of April and then burn myself out with this project or burn myself out with writing or doing events like this because it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be challenging, but at the same time, I don't want to lose myself in that process, if that makes sense. What I also mean by, by finding balance is to also know that I can't do it all. I can't do everything. I can't do all of the writing and I can't do all of the other things. So finding a way to understand and prioritize things is really something I want to focus on this month. We'll see how that goes. I hope to keep you guys updated with that and to see how it all goes. If you're curious about my project or if you're curious about my writing schedule and how I balance a full-time job and a writing routine, <laughs> I don't. I do have videos on my 
channel talking about my game plan for writing this first draft and it's a full video talking about everything and I also have a video that talks about my writing routine that video is a few months old but my schedule hasn't really changed since I posted that video so if you're curious about those two things I will leave them linked down below and I hope to see you guys soon in my next vlog this is going to be it for this video but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and if you want to be part of my writing journey I would absolutely love to have you thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.